Hey guys, what is going on? Anthony here with Pistons Talk. Hope you guys are having a great weekend so far. In today's video, we are going to be doing a Q&A. A few days ago in the community post, I said, hey, drop some questions you guys have and I'll try to answer them the best I can. So that is what we are going to do today. We're going to jump straight into it. So the first question does come from Orbits on Xbox. And his question is, do you think Jeremy Grant will be here for years to come and keep progressing? I think Jeremy Grant is going to be here for years to come. I, th I think there's a chance that he actually gets an extension from the Detroit Pistons when that three-year contract is up. I know some other fans think that we should trade him while his value is high. I think he's great for Detroit. He's kind of the embodiment of what we want to build around, and I can get behind that. Can I see him keep progressing? Absolutely. I think he's a guy that was, what, a fourth, maybe fifth option in Denver to a number one option, doubled his averages from around 12 to 13 points a game to 22, 23 points a game as a number one option, here for the Detroit Pistons, and I think he's got another level to him, Orbit's great question. Our next question comes from Chris, and his question is, what free agent would you like to see them sign? Now, I've talked about this guy a few times. I love Josh Hart for this team. I think Josh Hart, to me, makes a whole lot of sense. He's got that Villanova connection with Sadiq Bey. He's actually a team need. He's a shooting guard. He's a very good shooting guard. Uh, really good rebounder too. I think he's just kind of got a all-around game that you really like. And I think you could probably get him for a fair price. You probably won't really have to overpay for him. I think you could probably get away with, I don't know, maybe $7 million for a guy like a Josh Hart. Now this free agency, if you're a Piston fan, I just want to say this. Don't get too excited because we really don't have that much money. We have a lot of that gap space with Dwayne Dedman and Blake Griffin and others from the waving and stretching we did this previous year. So our money is pretty locked up for this upcoming free agency. Good question, Chris. I'm not even going to try to pronounce your name because I know I'll butcher the hell out of it. But your question was, what are your thoughts about Jeremy Grant's word about the Pistons doing big next season? So I did make a video about this of what... I believe what Jeremy Grant was talking about. I personally believe that Jeremy Grant was saying the Pistons are going to try to be a playoff team next year. Now, whether they make it or not, that's to be determined. But I love hearing that. I think that's what Jeremy Grant meant by that. Great question. Our next question comes from Sean Don Sports. Do you see Jeremy Grant getting an extension or a max deal with us or the Pistons try to deal him before his contract is up? I personally believe there's a better chance of Jeremy Grant getting an extension or another contract with the Pistons than them trying to trade him. The Pistons have shown no indications of wanting to move on from Jeremy Grant. That is Troy Weaver's guy. Troy wants to try to build a team around Jeremy Grant. I think there's a better chance he gets an extension before we do trade him. Great question, Sean. Our next question does come from Carl L. And his question is, any second round prospects? So, some prospects that I am high on right now are BJ Boston. I'm interested to see if he actually does stay a second round pick. That was a guy that was a lottery pick. And now a lot of teams... And scouts have him in the second round. I'm very interested to see uh, if he does stay within that second round uh, consensus. He's a guy that I'm very high on. Deshaun Nix from the G League Ignite did really good down there. Um, he's a guy that I've been really interested in. I think he could be a good NBA player. Terrence Shannon Jr. is another guy that comes to mind that I think that could be really good at the next level. Great question, Carl. Our next question comes from Pistons Make Me Drink, and his question is, is there any chance the Pistons could land another lottery pick if they trade Jeremy Grant? I'm going to give you a really short answer, no. I don't think that's even a possibility. I think this draft class is very strong, and I don't see any team in the lottery needing or wanting Jeremy Grant for that matter. I think if the Pistons really truly wanted to trade him, they could get a draft pick, but it's not going to be a lottery pick. It could be a first-round pick. But it's not going to be a lottery pick. Good question, though. Pistons make me drink. Our next question comes from Arthur. And his question is, what is Isaiah Stewart's ceiling? 
I think currently what Isaiah Stewart's ceiling right now is a starting center in the NBA. I think right now he could start right now and Mason Plumlee could come off the bench. But what I think his ceiling could be is I could potentially see him become a top 10 center. He has all the physical tools. He's got a jumper. He can protect the rim. I think that's what his ceiling could possibly be, a top 10 center in the NBA. Great question, Arthur. Our next question comes from Bravo. Shout out to Bravo. Should the Pistons trade up for Cade Cunningham? We need a score, and he fixes our problems moving forward. This team is good, but we need a go-to guy besides Grant. Cade will be the one. I think the only chance the Pistons have of landing Cade Cunningham is if they win the lottery. I think if you try to trade up to that number one, you just don't have the assets. I think the only team in the lottery right now that would have the assets to trade up and get a Cade Cunningham is OKC. We just don't have the draft picks. We don't have the young players. We have some young players. We have some draft picks, but not enough. I think whoever gets Cade, their franchise changes that night. Great question, Bravo. Our last question comes from Oliver Stone Cold Crazy. How much longer will you doubt Troy Weaver? How long until you finally admit Killian Hayes is not a bust? I'm guessing you're going to wait until next year and then admit the kid is special. Well, Oliver, um, I've never doubted Troy Weaver, so I don't know where this is coming from. How much longer will I fully admit until Killian Hayes is not a bust? I've never called the kid a bust once, so don't really know what you're talking about. Um, I've actually was really high on Killian. I thought that the Pistons could land him at, with seven last year. I think that he was my number two point guard behind LaMelo Ball in last year's draft. Um, I spoke very highly of him. You guys can go back in my videos and watch. I've never called the kid a bust once. I think I've critiqued this game of what he needs to improve on, like his right hand and working on the jump shot, but I've never called the kid a bust, though. But uh, apparently you thought I did. But like I said, I'm here to answer all questions, positive and negative. But those were all the questions that you guys did ask. I appreciate you guys for asking those questions. I had a lot of fun answering your questions, but uh, talk to me down below in the comment section what you guys think of these questions. If you want me to do more of this going forward, let me know and I will. Like always, I hope you guys are staying safe. Take care and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.